Hi, this is a handwriting warm-up video. We're going to practice and make perfect one letter today. Make sure you have something to write on, like a piece of paper, a scrapbook, or maybe a mini whiteboard, and something to write with, like a pen, a pencil, a crayon. Pause the video and go and find those things now. Now that you've got your things ready, you can make sure your hands are ready. Put your pointer fingers up like this and bend them and straighten them a couple of times. Now link them together and push them away from you. Stretch your fingers a little bit. See if you can make a wave like this too. Oh, and the other way. All right, I think we're ready now. Today when we're doing our handwriting, we want to write with our page landscape. So not this way, not portrait, because we'll run out of space really quickly. We want to do it landscape and then we'll have lots of space to write across the page. The first thing we need to do is draw the margin down the left hand side. So that's kind of like the tree trunk. Like that. Then we're going to draw three lines or three branches coming from our tree trunk. So the way I get them to all be kind of equally spaced is I start with the one in the middle. So if you do the one through the middle first, then you look at these two spaces and you try and go in the middle again. So the middle of that space and the middle of that space. Then, up in the corner, the top right hand corner, I'd like you to draw a little sun. It doesn't have to be big, but it just helps us to know which way our letters are facing. Last thing we need to do to set up our page is to draw our butterfly eggs. We draw our butterfly eggs right by the margin or the tree trunk, sitting on the branches, because this is where the butterfly, in case of the caterpillar, the story, thinks that the eggs are going to be safest and not fall out of the tree. Pause the video so you have time to set up your page like this. I'm going to show you some pictures and listen carefully to the first sound to see if you can work out which letter we're going to practice today. Dart Dinosaur Dog Duck Domino Donut Door. Hmm, what sound do you hear at the beginning of all of those words? If you thought it was a d, d, d for the letter D, then you were correct. So here we have the, the capital D and the lowercase d. So they look quite different. And look, they're even facing different ways. The lowercase d is one that lots of us have trouble remembering which way it faces. So we'll practice that today too. Remember, we mainly use the lowercase d, and we only use the uppercase d if we have a really good reason, like it's the beginning of a sentence or it's start, the start of someone's name. The first shape we need to practice to make the letter d is the open mouth shape. Now there are lots of letters with this shape, so I bet we're getting really good at it. The open mouth shape go, faces the sun because Casey the caterpillar's open mouth is moving this way along the branch as she munches up all the leaves. So we do open mouth, curve it up a little bit at the bottom and make sure that it's touching the line. Open mouth, open mouth, open mouth, open mouth. Open mouth. We also want to make sure that they're not coming up too tall. They come up to that imaginary dotted line through the middle, between the two lines. If it comes all the way to the top, then we won't have any space for the rest of the D. On the next line, we're going to practice the next part of the letter. So we're going to do open mouth, close it up. It's going to look kind of like an O. Remember, starting by the butterfly egg. Case of caterpillars laid her egg right over here by the tree trunk, by the margin, because that's where she thinks it's going to be safest on the branch. So that's where we start our writing from. We do open mouth, close it up. Open mouth, close it up. Don't forget your finger spaces. Open mouth, close it up. Open mouth, close it up. Open mouth, close it up. Open mouth. Close it up. 
If you ever need more time to catch up, you can always pause the video. The next shape in the letter D is a tall stick. Tall sticks always start at the top, on the, almost on the line above, and come right down to touch the line, like this. Tall stick, tall stick, tall stick. We want to make sure that they're straight up and down. We don't want them to be leaning too far one way or the other. Tall stick, tall stick, tall stick, tall stick, tall stick. Uh oh. That one broke the trampoline a bit, but didn't it? We want to make sure it stops when we get to the line. Tall stick. That one's better. All right, now put your lid on your pen and get your pen pointer ready. We're going to practice the all the shapes together to make the letter D. We're going to do open mouth, close it up, tall stick. Try again. Open mouth, close it up, tall stick. One more time, and I want you to see if you can say the words as well. Open mouth, close it up, tall stick. Let's do it together. So starting over here by our butterfly egg. Open mouth, close it up. You've got to go all the way to the top and then come straight back down. Try not to take your pen off the page. We want to do it all kind of in one flowing movement. Open mouth, close it up, tall stick. Open mouth, close it up, tall stick. Open mouth, close it up, tall stick. Close it up, tall stick. Last one for me. Open out mouth, close it up, tall stick. Now that we've filled up all the lines, our next job is to look carefully at all the shapes on each line and pick the best one. So when we're looking at these open mouth shapes, we're looking for a nice curve. We're looking for it sitting on the line. We're looking for it to be not too tall. I like that one there. For our open mouth, close it up. We're looking for similar things to the open mouth shape. Make sure it's closed all the way up. There's no gaps. I like that one. Tall sticks have to touch the line above and the line that they're sitting on, but not break the trampoline like that one there. I like that one. And then in the letter D, we need to remember all those things together. I think that one's good. Now it's time for us to razzle dazzle our whiteboard, turn the page in your book, or flip your piece of paper over so that you've got space to write a sentence. All right, pause the video and do that now. I'm going to say the sentence two times and then you can have a go at writing it. Ready? Tarting is turned on. The sentence is Dan dug a dam. Dan dug a dam. Remember, if you're trying to work out how to spell a word, you can stretch it out and listen to the sounds. You can also use the yellow word card to help you with the words and the sounds too. Pause the video and do that now. Let's read the sentence together. Dan dug a dam. First thing you need to do is check that you have written a super sentence. Do you have a capital D at the beginning? Do you have a full stop at the end? And are there finger spaces between your words? If you've done that, good job. Now, this D, we've used a capital D because it's the beginning of the sentence. But we've also made it a capital D because Dan is a name. And names always have capitals too. Let's count up how many lowercase d's we have. One. Two. Two. Awesome work today with your handwriting. See you in the next handwriting warm-up video. Bye!